Gotta get off this train. No! You stab me? I would never stop coming for you. Brad Pitt is back on the big screen in the new action film, Bullet Train. It's one of the new movies that's hitting theaters today. Our movie reviewer, Alfred Richard, is in with his full list of things you can check out. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so Brad Pitt is back. Where's he been? Uh, well, I don't know if he's been working on those homes out in New Orleans East, but he is back on the screen, Ooh. and I have to say it, he's back on the screen in this film, Bullet Train. He stars as a hitman nicknamed Ladybug, who's had a lot of bad luck being a hitman as of late. So his handlers are giving him a simple assignment, get on a train from, a bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto, where he runs into a whole host of different hitmen. This film tries to be like John Wick and also some of the Quentin Tarantino style of film, but in the end, it's really just a hodgepodge of really goofy stuff that doesn't work too well. Uh, it, I said Brad Pitt is the main reason for going to it. It is available almost everywhere at the AMC Theaters, the Broad, Britannia, Regal Grand and Esplanade in Kennebra. Britannia can now place in Grand 16. However, folks, this is one, unless you're a big Brad Pitt fan, I have to say, folks, save your money and wait for that one to come back on the screen Even elsewhere. if you're a Brad Pitt fan, Even if you're a Brad Pitt fan, yes. All right, let's move on to Easter Sunday. I like the thought behind this film because it really is kind of a reality for some families. I like the thought of it, especially when you're dealing with, we've had family reunion films with African-American families, Greek families, uh, Asians, like crazy, rich, crazy Asians. This one deals with Filipino family. It also stars Joe Coy, who is a comedian who is part Filipino. He's funny. He is funny. However, most of this film isn't. It just works uh. on, it tries on the different tropes of putting together the family reunion and also a hitman who wants his money and will take revenge on people unless he gets his money back. Wait, there's a hitman in this one too? Yes, there's a All hitman right. in this one Yo, too. Pop Alfred back so, up, throw another So folks flag. here, it, mm. it's almost lost it on this one. Throw it folks, it's Don't save your money either. on this one folks. Easter, mm. it's also Easter Sunday. Why are we releasing a film titled Easter Sunday when we're near Labor Day? Just me, I'm just asking. <laughs> That's, it, that's why you really don't like it. Okay, st two strikes. Is there another strike? How about Sharp <laughs> Stick? What's this one even about? Well, Sharp Stick is actually a group thought of eroticism, especially among women. Now, oh. I'm no prude in that sense. However, this film, the sum of the characters does not equal out a great film. The main star in this one is Jennifer Jason Lee. It also stars Christine Frosett and Taylor Page. Unfortunately, I wish they had taken a page and written a better film on oh. this one here. Hmm. Folks, Sharp Stick is not that great. You may want to get a Sharp Stick in the eye if you're watching it. So three movies? Three. We three shouldn't now. see any of them. Hey, I'm going to say, again, if you want to see them, fine, but you have been warned. You've been flagged. Okay. Hallelujah, we got a good one. Okay, we have a very good one here. <laughs> Hallelujah, the music of Leonard Cohen. Uh, uh, Leonard Cohen, of course, he has influenced groups like the Electric Light Orchestra mm -hmm. and also Van Morrison and others. Leonard Cohen's performance in this, he writes a song called Hallelujah, but the record company he worked for rejected the entire thing. And so he thought it was a failure, huh. but other artists around the country, around the world, picked up the song and made it into a hit. It is definitely worth seeing, cool. especially... Cool. You can only see it one place? Only see it one place, the AMC Elmwood. Okay. Mulholland Drive, a classic there. That's a classic part of the David Lynch Festival over at the Britannia, at, over at the main Britannia okay. uptown. And another film is, as you see here, that is the Mulholland Drive film, David Lynch, really good work, cinema, film noir, and of course, Grease 2, Electric Boogaloo. No, no Electric Boogaloo, but it's a sequel to Grease. If you didn't know that there was a sequel to Grease, not many people did. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the first one's just too good. Yeah. It's, it's hard to mess that up. Yes, indeed. Okay, and you have a tribute today. Let's talk about this. Yes. This is a gorgeous picture. The picture I brought in is of a beautiful lady. Her name was Nichelle Nichols. For most of us, we remember her as being Lieutenant Uhura on the groundbreaking Star Trek series and also six films. 
I had the opportunity back in 2018 to meet Nichelle Nichols when I was visiting with my friend Peter, the late Peter, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca. She not only was a groundbreaker on television, she was a groundbreaker as well because she got people of color, women involved in the NASA program, and Mae Jemison, Guillaume Bluford, the late Ronald McNair, and Sally Ride, the first female to go into space, were all recruited thanks to this wonderful lady. I have to say, I was very honored to get the chance to meet her in my life. And I, as you can see, I'm wearing my Jedi robes. I wasn't in my Star Trek gear. But I would say, Nichelle, you lived long, and you truly did prosper. It's beautiful. All right, let's get over to Patty.